very nearly collapsed for two other frames for quite sobering reasons. The first was the then Vice Chancellor who was negotiating tragically died, if you can understand this, falling out of a train coming back from London to Oxford. He was uh, partially sighted, he had real issues with sight. And in those days there really was no support structure uh, for people with those sorts of stability. So that was one issue. Then very soon after that, Anthony Bessie's workforce in Aden went on strike in protest of the amount of money that he was giving to Oxford. And again, that's a sobering thought. It makes us realise that actually the people we should acknowledge is not just Anthony Bess, but of course the people who work for him that made it possible for him to make the sort of speech that he did. We probably should put up a plaque or something like that to acknowledge the fact of where actually those funds are how they were. In 1950, though, the college was finally open. The first big decision for the college, and I kid you not, this in the coming body minutes, was the choice of patron saint. And it, there are many St. Anthony's, as I'm sure you all are aware, but it was decided to choose the St. Anthony's of Egypt. And that was because Anthony Bess himself had worked mainly in the Middle East. And that's what you can see marked in the college crest. If you look at the college crest, you see you've got the red there, that refers to the, the Red Sea. You've got the yellow there, that refers to the desert of the Middle East. And you've got three what look like T's, but are actually uh, Middle Eastern crosses. Although when I was a student here, we always said the three T's stood for the feces take time. <laughs> Downstairs in the point. Unfortunately, it's the wrong St. Anthony. <laughs> major miscommunication, and that is St. Anthony of Padua. And, uh, I wish I could have been at the unveiling. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> I'm shocked as it was taken out and they realised it was the wrong St. Anthony. <laughs> so another governing body meeting took place, and it was decided on a compromise. And Anthony is now the only college of Oxford, Oxford and Cambridge. That has two pictures, <laughs> <laughs> and we celebrate both of their As I told some of you this morning, I met last week in Brussels somebody who had come to the college in 1950, in the second year of the college's existence. And he told me that um, in the first 10 years, the college admitted science as well as social science and humanities students. He told me that women were excluded from the college during those first years. He said apparently the wives of married students had to knock on the common room door, window, sorry, if they wanted to talk to their husbands. He told me the majority of students were British and French. And he told me that there was free wine at lunch and dinner provided <laughs> by Anthony Bess's state vineyard in France. <laughs> Now today we have no medical or natural sciences, we have obviously lots of social sciences. We have an equal number of female and male students. Originally, it was 
famous as the only building that has ever won a prize in the same year from the Royal Institute of British Architects and the UK Concrete Society. <laughs> <laughs> In 2009, it was listed, i.e. put up a protective business, as, and here's the citation, the finest example of 1960s brutal structure <laughs> in, I love this bit, the southern part of England. <laughs> <laughs> that means there's another one of these somewhere up in the northern part of England. <laughs> <laughs> the other funny way is, I'd love to go see it. <laughs> In 2017, this building was declared officially unsafe. <laughs> the plumbing was ruined, the roof was leaking, and the city said that we've got six months to close it down and to renovate it, thereby becoming the only building in Oxford that was both listed and condemned at the same time. <laughs> and then we closed it. So 2019, September 2019, this whole building was closed. We had a massive set of porch cabins out there on the grass, and we went through a two year of renovation. So it's relatively recently reopened, and it's been the recipient of a series of further prizes. It is the youngest ever building to win the Oxford Preservation Trust Refurbishment Prize, <laughs> normally given to medieval halls. We brought the average down by several centuries when you won that one. Right? <laughs> and and if I was kicking off this one, according to the recent issue of the journal Roofing, Padding and Insulation Monthly, <laughs> so I read regularly, <laughs> it was awarded the 2022 UK Mastic Ashfell Prize. Ashfell Prize for the work done on the roof. If you want to go across to the gateway building to the top floor, look at the roof, that is the 2022 best example of <laughs> anywhere in the UK. You will learn to love this building. I promise you will learn to love this building. We laugh about it, we make jokes about it, but anybody else who knew about this building would become very defensive. It's like your mother. <laughs> <laughs> And I just want to tell you an amazing story. I'll give you a feel that of the Spanish community. That refurbishment project cost £10 million. Ten million. The alumni of the college contributed to make it possible £9.3 million. And that was donations from across all the generations of the alumni who had ever been here who had used this building. And I think that indicates better than anything the kind of level of attachment that people have for the college, the community, the life that they spend here. And that's the journey which I hope you were just beginning on today. So let me just repeat, finally, my welcome to you. May I say this ends the former part of the evening. I believe the bar might be open. If 250 people go in there at one time, I can't imagine what that's going to look like. <laughs> You're prepared for it. Um, have a great evening, but more importantly, have a great time at the end. Love to see you.
like a, a scanning thing. Number, or... I have a US number still. Okay. Just for WhatsApp. 